Hello everyone, I am Sharwani. I am here to explain about A star search algorithm. So first of all, A star search algorithm is used to find the shortest part between the two nodes. So we will be finding the shortest part between the two traversing nodes. That is the next node which is traversing from first node to the next node. So it is similar to the Jigstress algorithm but it is a more efficient algorithm when compared to this Jigstress algorithm. Next, it considers both heuristic values and as well as the cost that is the path cost through which the roads are traversed. The cost of an edge is usually determined by its length or by some other measures of the distance. So the cost of the distance between the two nodes will be considered with the help of some measures or it will be calculated depending upon some formula. So now let us go to get into the algorithm. First, the implementation of this algorithm contains the two lists. That means we have to consider two lists, the open list and the closed list. Where open list will be containing of the initial node, that is the starting node from which we are traversing the graph. The open list contains the starting node or the initial node through which the graph is evaluated. Uh, we will be keeping the initial node in the open list and we will be calculating the heuristic values. So closed list contains the nodes that has to be visited. That means the nodes which are next to, to the, uh, the traversing node. Now this algorithm goes as this. First we will be defining a list open. In that we will be having the single node that is the initial node. Next we have to traverse through the child nodes of the initial node first. So we will be comparing the two child nodes. If there are child nodes we will be continue the process of traversing. If there are no child nodes we will be returning that list is empty and we will be returning that this, it is not a successful traversal it is a failure. If there are child nodes then we will be traversing through the child nodes. Now we will be removing the node that is having the smallest value that means the smallest to shortest path that the shortest path so we will be traversing to that node and we will be keeping the shortest node into the open list and the initial node which is there in previously in open will be come to the closed node. So if that is the goal node, if the traversal node is the goal node we will be returning the success. If that is not the goal node we will be continuing the traversing. So we will be expanding the nodes we will go to the next node next node next node. So if any successor to goal node, if, if there is any successor to the goal node, we will be returning the success and we will show the path, the path through which the nodes are traversed. If not, we will be traversing to the next nodes. So for each successor node, apply the evaluation. For each node that we are going to traverse, we have to apply the same formula, the same function to traverse. So the shortest path will be calculated by using the heuristic values as well as the cost, that is the path cost. So we will be calculating the function and according to the value, we will be traversing. So if all the steps are completed and we reach the goal node, we will be returning the success. That means the traversal which we have gone through is success. If not, we will be returning to we will be returning as it is a failure. If uh, all the steps are completed and all the nodes are traversed and we have reached the node, that is the end of our algorithm. Now let us see the example for an A star search algorithm. Here is an example with a diagram with where the cities connect through the links. Hyderabad is the root node and the Vijayawada is a goal node. We have to traverse through the Hyderabad to the Vijayawada and let us see how we traverse to the Vijayawada. First step is to start with the initial node. Here initial node is Hyderabad and it has two children. They are Varangal and Karnul. So Hyderabad is to traverse to the child node, one of the child node. So for that we have to find the shortest path. So it has a formula f of n is equal to g of n plus h of n. Here 8 is the h of n and 6 is the g of n. And here 6 is the h of n and 3 is the g of n. So first we have to calculate for Varangal. f of w is equal to 8 plus 6 that is 14. And for kernel, f of k is equal to 6 plus 3, that is 9. So here 9 is less than 14. Shortest path is Hyderabad to Karnul. So we have to visit Karnul after the Hyderabad. Then the second step is to see the child nodes of Karnul. Here we have only one child node for Karnul. So we need to visit Chittur. No need to calculate the f of c value because it has only one child node. Then after visiting Chittur, the third step is to C 
see the child notes of Chittur. Here we have only one child note for Chittur that is Vijayawada. And we need to visit the Vijayawada. This is the goal node. So we have reached the goal node. So Hyderabad to Karnul and Karnul to Chittur and Chittur to Vijayawada. This is the shortest path from the root node to the goal node. Hello everyone, I am Monika Srindi. So till now we have seen what is A star search algorithm and what are the steps involved in that particular algorithm and also we have come across one example. Now let us see the practical implementation of this algorithm in Python programming language. So for this I have considered a random example with the nodes A to I. I have named them as A to I and herein we can see that A will have some neighboring nodes right obviously and they will be having some distance between them that is the path cost that I am defining over here only. That means from A to B it is 6 and A to F the value is 3. Similarly for B, C and for all the nodes I have just defined them. Now what I am doing is I am just calling this function that is A star algo. I have named the function as A star algo wherein I have I am finding out the shortest path between two nodes wherein the start node is A and the destination node or our goal node is J. Now I am even taking the heuristic values of them. See as you can see here I have mentioned all the nodes heuristic values over here that means from A to J I have named all these values 11, 6 and now we will just uh, go to the actual implementation and we will see how actually this function will work out. So here I have defined the function a star algo where we have taken the start node. That means earlier I have said a right so uh, a is nothing but the start node and stop node is nothing but j that is our destination node. Now I am taking, taking this open set wherein this open set consists of those nodes which we are going to visit and I am setting them to the start node. Okay, And uh, you can see here I have taken a keyword that is set in python in this set no duplicate values will be allowed. That means we will not be visiting the same node again and again. So this is uh, what the advantage of uh, set look like. Okay. Next closed set. In this closed set I am taking the actual path what uh, uh, how we are going to traverse the whole from starting to ending. Now in g variable I am storing the distance from starting node. That means what is the uh, whole distance from starting to ending node. That will be calculated and stored in g. See uh, for this for more clearance of what we are doing in this particular program I have commented them out okay. Next now I am taking the while condition while that means while open set is greater than 0 that means while length of open set is greater than 0 which means that if there are more child nodes to visit until then this loop will be running that means this loop will be executing till the ending node that means still the destination node okay next and I am taking the now uh, now here comes the comparison between the heuristic values of the child nodes that means which child should be visited first obviously whose length is less or whose uh, whose distance is less that node we are going to visit so for that I am taking this uh, if condition wherein this represents the distance of one node and this represents the distance of another node which will be less that will be visited obviously. So now here again I am specifying one more if condition that means in this if condition what we are doing is we are checking for those nodes which are already visited. If those nodes are already visited then what we are going to do is we are going to remove them from the closed set. Else if the nodes are not yet visited that means still some nodes are pending that we are going to add to that open set then again as we have seen earlier one condition right where we, wherein we have, we have compared the values. To this open set we will add these nodes and again we will compare that condition and again we will just add those values and we will be displaying our path in the output. Okay. And first suppose let us say okay here we are having the child nodes and there is one gold node to uh, traverse. What if there are no children nodes at all that means only what if there is only one single node that means it will be returning path does not exist. See now, now that we have found the path and we have added the path, that path we are going to print over here. That means the path found, whichever the path which we have found that we are going to print over here and we are returning the path. 
So this is how the A star algorithm implementation looks like. And when it comes to its uh, working principle, the A star algorithm working principle is similar to that of uh, Dijkstra's algorithm. But when it comes to in terms of its performance, A star algorithm is 60 times far more better than Dijkstra's algorithm. So now let me just run this A star algorithm, okay? See, I have run the program and this is how we got the path A to J. First A, then F, that means the shortest uh, distances are calculated and the output is printed. Hello everyone, this is Bhuvan. So previously we have seen the example of HTML algorithm and one source code. Now we will see about the applications. One of the main application is web based maps. So when we are going to the new place, actually we will see Google Maps. So internally we will use this HTML algorithm. And the another application is HTML algorithm is used in many artificial intelligence applications. So we have taken the term as artificial intelligence. Before going to this, we have to know about informed search algorithm and uninformed search algorithm. This all comes under informed search algorithm. HTML algorithm and best first search algorithm and hill climbing algorithm. Among these three informed search algorithm, this is as sophisticated and most preserved algorithm and another one is it is used in other algorithms such as bell manford algorithm to solve the shortest path problem and another one is hstar algorithm is used in network working protocol such as rip which is known as routing internet protocol and ospf which is open shortest path first and bgp which is the border gateway protocol. 